mall vlog. It's all redundant. The only thing that was in there really was uh, the 720s drop. Not a fan of them. They might grow on me with some colorways. I saw the sunset joints. I saw like the turquoise ones. Of course, I saw the triple black ones. I saw um, a pair for the ladies. This is nothing that you're not going to see at your mall. So what's the point? It's tax season. People going crazy. It looks like some people called out from work just to go shop. But yesterday I was not successful in copping a kick. But I didn't go to everywhere I needed to go because I had stuff to do. But I did pick up a shoe that I had put off. And I got it. It's in the trunk. Did a couple other pickups. Might show those. Might not because they're not shoes. But anyway, let's get to the crib. YouTube, what's going on? It's Solution for the Solution Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so YouTube can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. Remember, recruitment is always open. And uh, we're gonna make sure the screening process works out for you if you meet the requirements. It's always positivity, it's all love, and it's all about spreading the knowledge and making sure everybody save a little money while we're out there. But let's get into the video. Today's video is about some late pickups and one recent pickup, okay? I was at the mall, we saw that on the lead in, all right? But I have another shoe that I've had for a couple of weeks now that I did not do a, um, a vlog or review on. I've been a little busy. I said, I'll get around to it. I'll get around to it. Put it off, put it off, put it off, just like the rest of the videos. But let's get into it and let's see what your man cop today. You already know what it is. The Jordan. Man, I hate saying that. It's so cliche. You see the Jordan box with the gold jump man on it. So obviously, you know, it's a couple of things. If you know me, you probably got a feel of what the shoe is. So let's have a gander in here and see what we got here. Yeah, we got the top three mids, all right? I basically was on the hunt for these and I stopped my look. I said, you know something, stop looking for them. You will come across them. They got restocked at uh, Shoe Pals. Shoe Pals has pretty much been my go-to for my uh, limited mids, if you will. And um, I really, really like these. And it, this is a sneaker that you really don't have to show both pairs because unlike the OG highs, each shoe is identical. So that does mean I probably should show the shoe. And as you can see, I've already tried it on. I got them laced and prepped and everything. And these, these are crazy, man. These are crazy. If you're more of a um, somebody, a, a traditionalist, and you're into the symmetrical shoe versus the top three um, OG high that has the alternating shoe. This is more of a, of a uniform version right here. And um, yeah, the, these are dope. These are dope, everyone. I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, the quality is pretty decent, all right? It's, it's better than your average mid. But I do like these. They're dead stock. I did pre-lace them CI1. And they came with another... Um, pair of laces as well the red ones so some people have put black laces in there they say it makes it pop a little bit i've seen royal blue laces in some i'm going to keep the white laces in there because it gives a little bit more flair to me in my opinion but i do like these and um these were retailing at 110 all right these are not a special edition version of the mid unlike the other pairs that everybody's been chasing after and um, I'm going to give you a nice segue into the next shoe that we're going to review. So a few days ago, I was out and I got a chance to check out the Laker Mids. And that name is a stretch. That name is a stretch for that sneaker because purple only appears on the factory lacing and the, uh, the tongue tab, the Jumpman tag on there. But, you know, the Lakers also have black in their colorway as well. But it's not enough to save the Laker bids. Nah. Nah. You, you take away the purple laces, no one would really even say that. That's not the street name for them. Well, that's not the, the actual name for them. That's the street name for them. And I think it's a stretch for those. But due to the fact that they're limited, people are going crazy. And a lot of sneaky YouTubers have exposed themselves when it comes to mids. All right? You did not rock with the mids. But now you see you can make some money off the mids. Yeah, you, you're you kind of like killing yourself to talk good about the shoe after you dissed it before. Keep the same energy. 
This is not beef. This is not drama. All I'm saying is be consistent for your viewership. Be objection. Be objective. Excuse me. Be objective and say, hey, I was not rocking with these, but as a reseller, I need to make a little money off of them. I got them. You like it. They're for sale. That's it. That's how you do it. You won't put them in your collection. Well, Unbreakable Kicks, he did say that. I give him that. And um, I, I give him that. But he, <laughs> it's like it was killing him to actually talk good about the shoe. <laughs> I was like, man, he, he's dying in front of that camera trying to say good things about this shoe. But I understand what you were doing, Unbreakable Kicks. You are a salesman. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now, the other ones. The other sneaker YouTubers out there are like, man, me is a whack. Me is a whack. Oh, Look what I got. These were so limited. Man, I have to have these in the collection. All right. Come on, just keep it a buck. What we would like for you to say, because people have gone back and looked at your old videos and said, hey, that's not the same energy you were displaying. No, 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 no. Those That was not the same energy. You said, man, I don't like Miz. They suck. You were throwing them around and stuff like that. And now because everybody's hyping the shoe up. Oh, yeah, these are great. Look at the quality on them. Come on, guy. Keep it official out here. But anyway, moving right along. <clears throat> Next up is a shoe that I actually purchased for someone before I purchased for myself. Because I said this shoe will be around. Insert foot into mouth. Yeah, this shoe has suddenly picked up a lot of momentum. And um, I'm not quite sure what happened. Everybody was going after the pine greens and the top threes. Then suddenly this shoe started to take off and I was like, you know something, I'm going to get those for the low. And I passed on them for 96 at the military exchange stores because I felt like that shoe was going to hang around. But then suddenly the hype hit these as well. So you probably got an idea of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll sit that down. We don't need to look at both shoe because the shoe is identical. And I pre-laced these because I tried them on in the store because this is actually a size 10 and some Jordan ones, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the material that I get a tighter fit right here. So a 10 works sometimes a 10 and a half, but we're going to get into that in another shoe that I'm reviewing a little later on in another video anyway. So you got the metallic patent leather, golden black mids right here. What's the official name for these? Black metallic gold white. Yeah. These don't have any team connection to them. This is just a concept that Jordan Brand put out. And uh, for all you elitists out there, oh, this is the Broke Boy uh, Complex Con or the Broke Boy uh, Top 3 Patent Leather Mid. No, no, this is a completely different sneaker. Um, it's a nice alternative. Now, what I should do is show you why I really was going after this sneaker. We're back. So here's why I wanted to get this particular sneaker right here. Over, I wanna say about a year and a half ago, I was out at Shoe Palace in San Marco. Shout out to my man Trey out there. And I saw a Jordan 1 Low. I'm not a huge fan of the Lows, okay? However, I got a few pair. I think I sold a pair and it has some bread kind of nylon. They, Yeah, they're nylon bread Lows. Um, <clears throat> so I don't really go after the Lows a whole lot. But this was a little different. It was unique. I liked it. And it got extended. It's actually a nine youth because it is a grade school girls. It's a GG. So here's why, as you can see, why I was really inspired to get those. Now, you know, this showed up in a high version, all right, in a uh, OG high version. And I was like, you know something? They need to release these in the mid. And bam, they showed up. Now, if you know me, I'm from Baltimore. We love the gum bottoms. Peep that out. These are dead stock, I haven't worn them yet. I've taken them out the box, put them on my feet, put them back in the box, changed my mind about the outfit. But yeah, I have these in the stash, but this sneaker right here is flying off the shelves. And you can tell when you start seeing nothing but uh, 10 and a halves and 11s, the shoe is basically gone. The money sizes are gone. If you start seeing a bigger shoe and even this 10, this is the last 10 that I came across was a stretch. So you got to be really, really uh, definitive in detail when you start talking about a shoe is sitting. Just because it is right there on the shelf and is 11 and a half, 
you're just doing that for the views, all right? You're, you're, as uh, Skip Goes Hard says, you're pimping views. Um, the shoe is there. It's just a whole lot of the big sizes. The money sizes are gone. So that's not a good indicator. I want to see the shoe out of the store to say it's sold out. If I walk in, it's like, oh, it's right there. It's not sold out to me. I want the entire shoe sold out. So that's a loose definition of selling out. But hopefully you like the, um, the quick reviews and the rundown on a couple of cops I had. Like I said, I, um, well, I'm not going to apologize because it's life. I have taken a bit to get back to you guys. With the, um, a lot of people say they like when I give like the advice at the end of the video, you know, the grown man talk and all that stuff. Um, that's the way it should be. All right. It, it's more than standing in front of this camera and just talking about a shoe sometimes because sometimes people are looking for a little bit more. They want to delve into, you know, what's the guy like? All right. But remember, it's not about how much you paid for the sneakers. Why did you pay that much? And I'm out of here. Boom. The solution.